Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> Eight o'clock on the nose. Um, I hope you're having a terrific week so far. Boy, time does fly, doesn't it? <clears throat> Hi, Lulu. Hi, Kit Kat. Good morning, Susie. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, Maria. I can't say hi to everybody because it'll give me like two names and th say three others have joined. So I don't know who all's on here until you talk to me. Hi, Barb. <clears throat> Good morning, Irma. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Dog Arts. That's fun. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Sherry. Good morning, Ellen. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Um... I am going to paint a floral today. It's something I've painted already. I like to paint the same things more than once, and I very often do. Good morning, Helen, <clears throat> um, because it gives good practice. Like Every time I do it, it turns out different. Um, and, and part of the sad part of getting older is I can paint something and forgot. I couldn't remember if I had painted this. I knew I painted it before on a flat panel, but I loved how it turned out and wanted to do it on a raised panel. But also, I wanted to make sure I hadn't painted it here on Instagram Live. But what difference would it make? It would be on my YouTube channel twice, but who would even notice, right? Good morning, Sharon. Everybody say good morning to each other. Okay, so let me turn this around and show you what I'm doing today. It is, I think it's a peony bud. I just recently got these flowers. Um... I think I had gotten some Lysianthus at market, and then I got, there were some peonies at um, Trader Joe's, I think, that I bought, and they never opened up. They were just buds, but I got this photo of this bud with this great light on the one side and shadow on the other, which I love, 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 so I didn't even care that the buds didn't open up. Good morning, Nancy. <clears throat> So I hurt my back yesterday a little bit, so I'm moving a little rickety. Fortunately, I went to yoga last night, and I think it helped quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to do my transparent layers here. I've been kind of sitting here waiting to start, and <laughs> now that it's time to start, I feel like I'm not even ready. But I was getting ready. I have inspiring art today, too, so I was also getting ready for that. That's my membership group. And we're going to do a lesson on broken color. So I've been knee deep in learning about that and loving every minute of it. Okay. So I'm going to put in my yeah, usually my husband's home on Wednesday mornings, but he got called in to work. Someone called in six, so he had to get up and go to work at like five o'clock this morning. Good thing he answered his phone. <clears throat> Oops. I would, I'm using um, Zest It, which is my favorite. The lilac colored flower is um, a Lysianthus. They're one of my favorites. My favorites are Ranunculus, um, the Peonies, and Lysianthus. They all kind of have a similar shape to them. They're all kind of very romantic flowers. I always want to fall in love. Isn't that funny? I'm used to using my liquid now and I keep reaching for it. Good morning, Sherry. You got called in around 5.32. Oh my goodness. That's bright and early to get a call of come on into work. <clears throat> well, they're not terrible. I'm up and ready for the day at 5.30 in the morning usually. Or could get up even if I'm not awake. Oh. Up and about I'm awake and could easily begin my day especially if I'm gonna get up and paint right <laughs> that's the fun part I never mind that I don't like to get up and travel at that hour in the morning which reminds me I only have one spot left in my um, my my French retreat. So if anybody's on the fence and thinking about going, sign up now because only one spot left. 
And that's very exciting. It means it's really going to happen. Not that it ever wasn't going to, but now i got to get all my ducks in the row and start thinking about supplies and what we're going to do. It's going to be really wonderful. I hear you. Lucky I work from home. Yeah, same. I never used to. I always had an office. It was never far, and I never had emergencies because it was a marketing firm. <coughs> Good morning, Dawn. We have to get together. Hi, Jackie. Um, <clears throat> I shouldn't say that. There were plenty of emergencies, but not, <laughs> not in the middle of the night. But, yeah, everything was an emergency in that business. Now, not as much. <clears throat> and I don't mind it as much now that I do it from home. So I could have started this. Anita says the retreat in France sounds so wonderful. Sorry, I can't go. Me too, Anita. I would love to have you there. Maybe there'll be another retreat in the future that you can come to. I know. It's like a pinch me moment. I can't believe I do get to go. I say be careful what you wish for. Because most likely it will happen. leaf down here getting a little bit of viridian out yep that would be awesome for you to come yeah it could all happen again see how I like traveling for one thing although I did have someone ask me about maybe doing one in Sonoma California. I need to write her back. That would be so fun, too. I think I would love that. I haven't been there in a long time, but I was there years ago. It's a pretty magical place. All right, I need a sip of my coffee. Where's everybody tuning in from this morning? morning everybody is waving I think I'm going to use my um, crazy blue in the background you know, I love switching things up and going crazy with color learning about broken color has been really fun I'm excited to play with that in my paintings next yes I took the photo I try to use mostly either photos that I've taken or or definitely photos that I have permission to use, but um, I try to take as many as I can. It does get a little challenging, um, especially at this time of year, to even find good flowers to take photos of, but I still can find them sometimes at market. I'm lucky to have a beautiful farmer's market here in Lancaster. <clears throat> Good morning, Allie. How are you? Oh my gosh, Jackie, you're on Sanibel Island. I bet your place is fabulous. That's really fun, doing condo fix meetings. That sounds wonderful. Can't wait to do a retreat down there, too. Mm. Kit Kat, I do sometimes share them. Not always. Sometimes I keep my very, very favorites for myself. But I do have some. Um, there are some that I share in there on my... Um, blog so sometimes when I paint and people want to try to paint the same thing that I painted I'll post them up there so you could look through there for some of them Santa Cruz California how beautiful is it warm and sunny yes we are going to do that for sure but love sun oh Michael there isn't a market like that in anywhere in Pittsburgh I guess not it probably is very unique because it's been around like forever that's where I actually had my first job when I was like well, how old do you work 14 I worked at market 
at that market. And then there was another market also um, in Lancaster. It was Southern Market. And now it's a, a really cool like bar <coughs> bar now. Um, but yeah, that market's been around forever. It's open on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays because it originally was for people to be able to buy all their food for the week. So your food would last a few days. So they didn't have to be open every day, but it is pretty amazing that it's still open after all these years and that people in Lancaster still shop at it a lot. It's very busy. It's the longest running market in the U.S. Isn't that crazy, Ellen? Yep. Ellen lives here in Lancaster also. We should go to market together sometime. It would be fun. I do go there almost every Saturday. Although Friday's my favorite day to go, but um, sometimes it just doesn't work. Hello, how are you doing today? <laughs> Wonderful birthday. Please come. Oh, I do have a painting challenge. In my inspiring art group, we've been doing a challenge um, that started sometime in January. And it's been really fun. We're painting pears, and now we're painting... Um, Gerber a daisy. I think that's probably enough color on there for my base. <clears throat> as long as I have enough underneath there. Oh, Susan at workshop in Lancaster. I should. I have had them. I don't have my office anymore, so I don't have. I need to find a place to do it, a space. So I'm always thinking about it, and that would be fun to do that and go to market. <clears throat> that would be very fun. So I'm doing one in Kennett Square. That's like an hour from here. And that's the first weekend in March. If anybody wants to come to that, it's going to be wonderful. We're going to, um, I think we're going to do a peony one day and a bird the next. <coughs> and it's at Square Pear Gallery, which is just this beautiful little gallery in downtown Kennett Square such a great place. I have my artwork there. That's how that opportunity came to be. I, Alan, me too. I just posted a picture from the barn workshop. I had two different ones. A friend of mine has two different amazing barns. I should ask her if I could use her barn again. <clears throat> and I had a workshop there and I just posted a picture of it in my story. You can go look at it one of the two workshops, I'm not sure which one it was, but it was just the most beautiful setting. <coughs> we had the doors open to the outside, these great big barn doors. I just got my hands all dirty with <laughs> stuff. And I know, <clears throat> when, if you look at that video that's in my, I think it's still going to be in my story. I didn't post it till later in the day yesterday. And if not, ask me, I'll send it to you. But I love seeing that because I'm friends with like everybody in the video now. And I didn't know you guys that day. Um, are you still thinking about doing Yes, I, we need to plan the Vasari trip. Allie, are you on here? We need to figure out a date to do that. I definitely want to do the Vasari trip. I'm going to send out an email to everybody who's going on the France trip too, Michael. I got some information on that <coughs> at the end of the day yesterday. Allie saw it. Yeah, I love that. That's so fun that like you were all people that I didn't know at the time. And now when I look back at that, it's like I know who everybody is. I think that's so cool. And life works. The other colors. Yeah, I always need a little bit of this blue in there. I love this blue. Oh, yeah, we opened the barn doors, and um, deer were running out in the field. They were running by outside. That was so pretty. 
it was a, it's a spectacular barn. Both of them, two different ones that, that my friend owns. Spectacular. It's like a really dark purple one. I got out, what color is this? Egyptian violet. All right, that's enough of a mess. That's a happy mess, right? <coughs> now I have dirty hands, completely dirty hands. Um, so now I have to think about the colors that I need to mix. Um, a nice kind of warm gray for the background. And that really makes this the green pop. So we want this to be the hero right here. And I need pinks, pinks, purples, and greens. Like, so much fun. Oh, what did I miss here? Michael said thanks. I want to book flights this week. Yep, he sent me a little bit of information about the train ride from Paris. So I will send that to everyone. Okay, let me mix. So I have some colors here already because I did a video the other day which started <clears throat> this thing that I have so much paint because I mixed up enough to do a cute little video and put blops of paint down but then I had so much paint on my palette and I didn't want to waste it so I've got all kinds of colors around here that I I might use I like to just if they're nice fresh piles and they're not dried out I like to keep them on my palette because I can add them as mixing colors or if I'm looking specifically for that color like this could be really nice for the um the inside of that big purple flower. Actually, these might work for a lot of those purples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. So, and here I have some pinks already. Let's start with greens. I'm gonna do, this is, now I was trying to start doing my colors from left to right, but I'm having trouble with that. The gold, yes, those colors were fun, weren't they? They were flowers that I just got at market and really nice colors. Well, that looks a little too vibrant. So I'm going to use a little bit of this color in that and see if it tones it down a little bit. Nothing in nature is really that bright. Still a little bright, so I'm gonna put a little bit of gray in it. I love bright colors, and sometimes it's hard not to get carried away with them, but really, if you don't have any like neutral soft colors to balance out your bright colors, um, it doesn't. It doesn't look like nature. I think it's nice to have pops of bright color. Does that look good? Mm, yeah, that's an okay transition color. I think I still need a little bit more gray. I got I found some tort gray. I'm gonna add that in there to see. That might have gone too gray now. I need to play around with mixing greens again. That actually looks like the color I need. As, as gray as that looks, that's much closer to what I need. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow into it. And that's nice. Black and yellow make a beautiful natural green. I could do that too. I'll play with that. Sorry, my daughter was texting me. I'm glad those notifications don't make a sound here. I think I might have an on. Um, do not disturb. Isabel's asking me what to wear to a a uh, Kentucky Derby party. She probably doesn't even know what the Kentucky Derby is. Okay. <clears throat> All 
All right. Yeah, they're nice. Let me try that. I'm going to take black and I'll take a little bit more cleaning off my palette knife before I pick up some of this yellow and see what we get. Now that's, um, oh, that is a nice green. I love that a nice kind of almost an army green it's much warmer this is a cooler green and this is a warmer green that's a good idea Michael thank you I need a little bit more yellow this is cadmium lemon wanted to play with um yeah, they're great I wanted to play with that color oh the bright purple there's a little purples um so I have out two different purples I have Egyptian violet and I think this other purple is ultramarine violet so I'm going to add white to them and see which one gives me like the brightest pop of purple because I love I love that little spot in the painting. So some purples, like this is a tr transparent colors. It takes more of a transparent color to shift the white. And that is not nearly as bright as I want. So let's have a little bit more. It's much, these are much more muted purples, which will be great for the other flowers, but I do want a splash of vibrant. That's not terribly vibrant. Let's try Egyptian violet and see how different that is. I won't add as much white to it. Oh yeah, that's more what I want. That's nice. Okay. So I have pinks. I think I might need a little bit more in my pink category. So I'm going to put a little bit more of my permanent rose out here. And add more. Clean my paper towel. Good morning, Carol. I need much lighter pink. Oops, can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, my camera turned the wrong way. Even more white. Need more white than that. No, wait, let me get a little bit more white. in my messy desk over there. There's a lot more colors in here. It does take longer to mix the colors when you have a painting that's got a lot going on in it. I'm going to put some white out up here. All right, do I have enough to get started? Um, oh, I didn't mix a color for my background. Yeah, it is hard, Carol, to find a bright violet. You're right. I never knew that. Um, oh, I need, so I'll use my Torque Gray. Um, mix in this kind of purplish color that I have. That's pretty spot on to what I need. I'll put a little bit of purple in there. But I think that's good. It's a good start anyway. Okay. Oh, do I like the walnut oil? I'm not sure, Allie. I've been playing around with it. Um, 
but I don't know if I feel like I know the rules about it. Um, someone that I was watching do um, portraiture was using the walnut oil. And I, it felt a little greasy to me. Like I used it in my base layer and it was almost too oily. So it, I had, it felt slippery. I didn't dislike it. I think I'd have to get used to it. <clears throat> it's always that, it's like, what is it like? Uh, a thing of just right, like uh, Goldilocks. Like one thing's dries too quickly. One thing doesn't dry fast enough. One thing's too slippery. It's hard to find the one that's just right that you love the most. But I still really, the zest it is still my favorite medium. Although I've been using liquid more, but I don't like how it smells. It's probably more toxic, but the paintings dry much more quickly. Sorry, I had a sip of my coffee. Okay. Now this in here is kind of red and green at the same time. So I'll put some red down. Oh, do you use the clove oil to keep your paints wet? I do have some of that somewhere here. I'm not sure where it is though. In my crazy studio. I'm just looking for where my darkest areas are. Oh, Allie, what do you keep wondering about using walnut oil? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Jerry's out on that. But that doesn't ever mean anything. Like, I play around with stuff so often. Like, I might say I don't like it today, and then I'll try it another time, and I will like it. I would say people have been asking lately about how long it takes paintings to dry and things like that. And it's all so relative of like how damp your air is, how wet, how thickly you put your paint on your canvas. Like there's so many variables. That's such a hard question to answer. Mine even varies a lot. Oh, the walnut oil. Yeah, you saw it sitting over there. Yeah, I have so many things here because I love playing with anything art related. Like now I'm like so close to buying pastels, like chalk pastels. Like I think it's inevitably going to happen because. Oh, wait, do I have this? No, this needs to be over here more. There's a green. It's a little complicated right there. This needs to be a leaf. <clears throat> I'm just marking it like that so I don't forget. Um, dark, purplish, neutrals. So I do want to kind of keep this soft and quiet back here. Good morning, Sarah. husband's going skiing with friends this weekend so I'm going to get to uh, paint a lot I think which I'm looking forward to <clears throat> I bring this back a little bit yeah they're such fun colors aren't they Michael, do you ever start following Mon Monet Cafe, Susan Jenkins, on you? She does beautiful soft pests. No, I don't think so. Let me write that down. Whoops, I think I took my pen. Oh, here, I'm going to use one of my pencils. Susan Jenkins, Monet Cafe. I'll have to look that up. 
I've always wanted to do that. I'm always afraid of the commitment. Like once I start buying those colors, like I'm going to want so many of them. Susan Jenkins. I had a friend named that a long time ago. Um, <clears throat> I'll look her up because, yeah, I'm really close to wanting to do that. I think I'm going to do a little bit of my gray in the background here because that's distracting me a little bit. That softens it a lot. I know, weekend to myself. It will be fun get myself some food and I will be quite happy to not go out. I'm sure something fun will come up to go to in the midst of it all. I won't be here by myself all weekend, but a little bit of free painting time without any other things to do will be wonderful. I need to work large. I don't have hardly any large paintings for my shows this year, and I applied to eight different shows. I don't know how many I'll get into, but it's an LEA half stick Paris set, great variety of colors. All right, let me write that down. It's an LEA half stick. Half stick is fun because then you can see what you use the most, right? Paris set. Okay. Thank you. That toned everything down, didn't it? Now, this, now I can see how much color, or, uh, much light shining on there. Oops, did I miss anything? Do you need some harder ones too? Rembrandt scent and new pastels. See, I'm gonna want too many things. Rembrandt and new. Tells. It's one thing I've never, well, not the, I'm sure it's not the only thing, but one of the things that I've never really experimented with at all. Like, I still have all so many of my art supplies from college and I use them, but I never did pastels. Yeah, yes, I'll get addicted, right? All right, looking for where more dark areas are. Seems to be a bit of a shadow. Flower is just something else, isn't it? It's very dark in here. It's very dramatic. Um, this photograph of the lights and the darks. This would be a good one, like if you're confused, to turn it to black and white and look at it. If you can't quite tell where your, your lighter and darker areas are. It's super dark back here. I'll push that back. Um, oh, I don't want that blue showing. Now wait, let me get a bit of my background color and bring this up to here. I 
sometimes I like when colors pop through like that, but that was a little too dominant of a color. It would be confusing. Didn't make sense, I guess is what I'm saying. It's still looking for my dark areas, the shadow areas. I like to get them in before I start playing around with um, the non-shadow, the highlight areas. Sunlit, I guess. sip of my coffee. What's everybody having this morning? Coffee, tea, Diet Coke? Most of my dark pinks. This one down here is kind of more of dusty colors. English breakfast tea. Black coffee. That's good, I guess, with no cream. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. <clears throat> Green tea. <clears throat> I have a big, seriously purple spot right there. I'd like to maybe leave a little bit of that there. <clears throat> yes, I'm using oil paints. Christina said, made us a loaded almond and cinnamon rolls and cantaloupe. Oh my goodness, I wish I was at your house. That sounds fabulous. I love breakfast and try not to eat it very often. It's a favorite. Um, it's kind of hard to know where these pieces are. Um... Yeah, I love those. It's tricky to do, but I love when the colors are like over, almost like com totally combined. That kind of greenish. It's greenish, but it's also not. <laughs> what is it? I don't know what it is. It's greenish and it's um, red too at the same time. So what is a reddish green? That's a crazy idea. Helen says, I find a very confusing picture. Interesting to see what you make of it. It is confusing. When it's very complicated like this, it is sometimes harder to figure out where things are. Um, another bit that I've been trying to do more of is partially painting what I see, but partially getting to a point where I trust my intuition and kind of do what I think looks good because I don't 
necessarily want to paint exactly what's in an image. I want to go beyond that and kind of put my own spin on it a little bit. But that's a tricky thing to learn. I don't know why. Maybe because it's hard to trust your intuition. I'm not sure what I'm saying about that, but sometimes it is honestly hard to trust your intuition. Yeah, it's a lot. It's almost abstract. Yeah, I'm just looking at chunks of shapes and not thinking so much about what it is that I'm really seeing. That stays kind of soft in there. I want to keep that pretty soft. too dominant. It's like a math test if you practice enough. It's easy. I like that. It's just like anything else. It is really about practicing. Yeah. And it is, I always think that's a little unfair with art that like for us to learn to paint like you're supposed to have your own reference, you know, come up with your own concepts, like do all the things on your own. Whereas if you're teaching uh, or if you're learning to play piano, you play someone else's music for years before you ever have to like write your own music. But like with art, it's almost like you're expected to be able to just do all your own stuff without that learning process. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Look for chunks of shapes. Yep. Yeah, miles on the brush. They're the the just so, so fun. I love my brush miles. Something about it, I never get bored doing this. It's just, it, it just is so much fun. I think because it always does change. Like each painting is completely different. I'm always learning something new, and that's why it doesn't get boring, I guess. It's its blessing and its curse, right? Push that to the back a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, we should get more, like, opportunity just to kind of play and learn. Like, people put so much pressure on themselves um, and think that you should be able to just do it quickly, but what do they say? Nothing that worth that's weighing gold isn't a lot of work or something I don't know what I'm not good at saying because I make them up wrong and yes and many musicians never write their own music so yeah that's sort of crazy isn't it that we're supposed to just know how to do all the things right away I guess people do go into museums and practice painting what they see in a museum. I think that would be a really fun thing to do also. Never done. I've hardly ever even been to very many museums because I don't have anyone to go with. I've been to the Barnes Foundation in Philadelphia at its original location and where it is now. And that was amazing. And to the Philadelphia Art Museum, but not really very many other places because I don't have a gang of art museum goers should get my niece to go to the national gallery with me she lives in arlington and we're going to go down there soon but that could be another fun field trip right i'm just putting in chunks of color yeah i'm trying not to um that's one of the things I was learning about broken color is putting in color and just letting it be. Road trip, Nancy. Let's do it. I 
I, yes, Ellen, I'm sure I will love that. I've got to make that happen. I'll write to Aaron. And we're going to be um, in D.C. pretty soon. We always go down there and do the um, uh, colon cancer 5K. You can run it or walk it. But my, my niece went through colon cancer, and she's doing really well. But we always, in her honor, we always go down there and do that race. I used to run it, but now I walk with her, and it's fun. Ellen said, I stood a brush lunch away from a Monet and got choked up and teary-eyed. Oh, I love that, Ellen. That's so cool. It's the best when art makes you feel something, right? I would love to make art that makes you feel something like that. What time is it? 46? My gosh, time's flying. That's because we're having fun here. So I need to start working on some of my brighter colors now. Now that I see that time is going so quickly. No more hemming and hawing. It's a fun saying, isn't it? I don't know what that's from, hemming and hawing. Is it hemming clothing? Anybody know? I love old-fashioned phrases. Like when someone says something quirky like that that sounds so old-fashioned, I always write it down. I love to, well, sometimes I use them for my uh, bird characteristic qualities. But, you know, like things like ass over tin cup. Like, what's that all about? I don't even know if I'm saying it right. It's probably not ass. I... <clears throat> That look, I think this needs to go a little darker in here. And that's super dark right in here. That's good. All right, so I need my lights. I'm actually looking in, seeing what you're seeing. Oh, inspiring. Anita said it was inspiring to be in the Louvre. Oh, I'm not going to get to do that when I'm in France. I think I'm going to have to go back again after this trip so that I can do some more of the Paris things. I'm not going to have time this time. Plus, I'm going to be nervous about teaching and everything, so I it's probably better not to fit too much in it at this trip. <laughs> yeah, the, I love those old fashions. Kitty corner. What is kitty corner? Two bits and so on. That's fun. Museum d'Orsay. Is that what you're talking about? And like when I, I was in... Paris when I was in high school, but we just saw the museums from the outside. I don't think we ever went in one. I don't know what we were doing. That was a crazy trip. We went with my high school. I was in, was I a senior in high school? Might have been the summer before my senior year. And we just were allowed to go do whatever we wanted. And it was crazy. I found my way around though, so I should be able to do it now as an adult, right? If I could do it then. Oh, across diagonally, yeah. Oh, yes, right. Across diagonally is kitty corner. Caddy corner. Yeah. I would say caddy corner. <clears throat> That's what that is. Okay, what else do I need here? I need to work on my stem, my greens in here. Yeah, K 
catty corner. Yeah, me too. I'm sure people say it differently in different places. green and I love that pop of that color in there so pretty the um, pigment stick um, and I love that little bit of gold in there too I'm going to let that stay do it Musée de Lingerie, Paris. Well, that sounds like a magical place. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to Paris again in my lifetime. Um, this, I need a little something. Push this back right here. A little to not the right color in there. All right, what am I missing? Yeah, the colors are dreamy, aren't they, Irma? <clears throat> so I will post this up on my YouTube channel if you want to watch it again. And be sure to go in there and give me a little thumbs up. I need to work on my YouTube channel. Allie just told me I needed little, like, header things for my videos. So I tried making one. I'll do one today, too. De Lingerie. There's a Saturday radio show on public broadcasting station that talks about the old sayings. It's pretty interesting. Oh, that's fun. Hi, Helena. Helena. I need some... lighter colors in here. I love when it picks up the colors from underneath too. Um, Ellen said this is gorgeous I would have been lost a long time ago I think I did get lost and came back I always am good at having that uh, blind faith that everything will turn out I am very good at that uh, but I think I got lost for a little while there too this is still looking a little sloppy I only have a few minutes left let's see if I can pull that together because um, this goes as a shadow right there and this too needs to go in. So I have to look for where these um, petals come forward and push back so that um, something's really dark right in here. This I could use a little more red, I think, right in here. And I just think I might need a few more lightest lights. Some white. See, I, I think, Alan, that's what I need. And I do have a little bit of, I'm going to get a little bit of a smaller brush, just a tiny bit smaller, same brush, same s style of brush, and get some of my lightest lights in here. It's really wiping that off. Sometimes it's the thickness of your paint that can like pick up underneath or how wet it is can make a difference on how it um, kind of adheres when you're putting a color over top of another color. But if it's like kind of picking it up, you sort of have to try and use it to your advantage and 
go with it rather than fight it because it won't work. Um, oh, that helped a little bit. Oh, oh, do I? Yes, I do play with acrylics too. Like I was saying before, I love all art supplies. Right now I've been itching to knit again. I always go through phases of trying different things. I used to knit all the time. <clears throat> Is that enough? Yeah, I think that works. Um, yeah, it did help. It needed that because that very, is very light in there. And I could use a little bit of that right in here, although I don't want to cover all that up because I love that gold that kind of landed there by accident. Whoops. Could use a little over here. Um, 56, holy cow. Sometimes the more complicated paintings like this one, they do take a little bit longer. But well worth it, right? No, I kind of like those little dabs. Need just a little white in here. And if it cuts me off... I'm all back to crocheting. It's a good distraction. It is. I need that kind of something to sit in. So I don't really like to watch television, but something to do while I'm sitting. I have um, Christmas stockings to make for my kids. Um, Emily's husband and Alex's girlfriend. All right, what do we think? It's gonna cut me off, I think. So I will sign it. I could do a little of a dark spot there, but I'll say goodbye. I think right in, well, I'll do it real quick. It's 57, my gosh, I still have minutes left. I need this to go dark right there. Do you see anything I missed? I really do like it. I'm happy with it. And the colors are vibrant. It still feels spontaneous. And happy. And just right in here. Oops, I had a little too much on there. All right, that's good. I'm going to stop. <clears throat> so we're just about out of time. I'm glad you guys came to hang out with me today. Um, no, wait, let me turn it around. I want to see me. <clears throat> so there's my reference and my painting and my palette. So I'm glad you guys all came. I will save this. It'll be a link on my blog and it'll also be on my YouTube channel if you want to watch it again. And I do this every Wednesday. So join me any Wednesday morning. It's always such a fun group. It was fun hanging out with all of you. And I hope you have an amazing day. And anyone in my inspiring art group, I'll be live at 11. So I hope you can join me. So we will see you soon. Bye everyone. Thanks for coming.